In this video, I'll show how to easily calibrate probe zero and sound velocity, probe angle for angle beam probes, how to do all this using standards and sometimes even a test piece. Before starting the calibration procedure, we have to set the probe type, give its frequency and nominal angle in the probe menu. Let's start from the straight beam probe. We can calibrate its zero sound velocity in the test piece. We need to know the thickness of the test piece or any other object to do this. Before starting the calibration procedure, we have to set the probe type single or dual element, give its frequency and nominal angle in the probe type. So we press calibration button to recall the calibration menu. We give the thickness of the piece we use for calibration. Now we put our probe to the object and adjust the A scan range to see two successive back wall echoes. We gate each of them with two gates. Toggle AGC to equalize the signals for better accuracy. And activate the calibrate item. Senecon will show the calculated values of the probe zero and sound velocity. We confirm it with enter button. Then it asks if we wish to save the calibrated value of sound velocity. If we used a test piece or a piece from the same material, then it's a good idea to save this velocity by pressing enter and again to confirm it. The same question is asked about the probe zero value, so we press enter twice to confirm it either. Exit button gets us back from the calibration menu. Now let's see what can be done for the angle beam probe. First of all, we will calibrate its zero and x value and sound velocity. We will use a V2 standard made from the same or at least similar material as the test object. I put the probe to the V2 main working surface, enabling its coupling, and find and maximize reflections from 25mm and 50mm radiuses. In this position, I can read the probe's X value, the distance from its front edge to the index point, 0.5 inches in this case. Now I can specify this X value in the corresponding item of the probe menu. Further, I enter the calibration main menu with calibration button and choose add calibration blocks. And then probe 0 at P2. Then I again find and maximize the same echoes. In the probe position item, I specify the probe direction to R25 or R50, R50 in this case. Toggle AGC on to equalize echoes amplitudes and activate the calibrate button. Sonicon will show the calculated values of the probe zero and sound velocity. We confirm it with enter button. Then it asks if we wish to save the calibrated value of sound velocity. If we used V2 made from the same material as a test piece, then it's a good idea to save this velocity by pressing enter and to confirm it again. The same question is asked about the probe zero value, so we press enter twice to confirm it either. Exit button takes us back to the choice of calibration procedures using standards. So we continue with calibration of the probe angle at the same standard. So I choose and activate probe angle at V2 item. As soon as my probe angle is below 65 degrees, I use upper working surface of the V2 and specify probe position to be V2-1. V2-2 is for another V2 working surface, used for probes with input angle of about 65 degrees. Please note 
that sound velocity is supposed to be already calibrated. I need to find and maximize an indication from the diameter of 5mm side drilled hole. Then I gate it with the gate 1 and activate the calibrate item. Senecon will show the calculated value of the probe angle. We confirm it with enter button. Then it asks if we wish to save this value. So we press enter to confirm it. Triple pressing of the exit button takes us out of the calibration menus. The last probe type I'll show the calibration procedures for is the surface or Rayleigh wave probe. I'll use the V1 standard for probe 0 and sound velocity calibration. To start the calibration, I press calibration button and choose and activate the probe 0 at V1 item. Then I place my probe on the upper edge of V1 and, of course, ensure good acoustic coupling. We can see two echoes now. The first from the upper end Aries and the second from the lower Aries of the same end. Further, I gate those signals with two gates. Toggle AGC on and activate Calibrate item. Senecon will show the calculated values of the sound velocity and probe 0. We confirm it with Enter button. Then it asks if we wish to save the calibrated value of sound velocity. If we used V1 from the same material as a test piece, then it's a good idea to save this velocity by pressing Enter and again to confirm it. The same question is asked about the probe 0 value. So we press Enter twice to confirm it either. Exit button gets us back from the calibration menu.